Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. This is Xavier on the drums, Javi en la batería. And today I'm gonna talk about Drum Basics 101. So this is the case for everybody, uh, for not for everybody, but for everyone that has bought a drum set and they don't know where to start. They don't know what are the names of the drums. They don't know how to hold the sticks. Uh, they know nothing about drums. Uh, and this is the place for you because I'm gonna teach you the very, very, very basics of uh, drumming and playing drums and drums itself. So um, the first thing, uh, this is gonna be a series of videos. So um, this is the first video and I'm gonna cover drum parts and how to position yourself on the drum set. Uh, so let's jump, let's, uh, blah, let's jump <laughs> right into it. Uh, and let's do this video. Okay guys, so talking about uh, drum parts is very simple, very basic. Uh, the fat big guy that you guys see here is called the bass drum. Uh, it sounds very low and that's why it's called the bass drum because it covers the low notes. Then we have the snare drum and this one covers the uh, mid notes on the pentagram and finally we have the hi-hat covering the high notes. Also, uh, well this is an electric drum set so you guys, you guys cannot see here but usually there are two cymbals stacked and right here making that noise so that's the high with this tree you can play any type of song any type of music you guys wish this is the very basics of drumming as you can you know play maybe rock uh, maybe play a little bit of jazz if you want or you can I don't know you can play R&B If you want to play reggaeton, this is the bass too. Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, then we have the toms. This is called the rack tom or tom tom too. Floor tom right here. And as far as other percussive instruments, drum instruments, I have here uh, piccolo, which is a snare, a small snare. Piccolo, Italian Piccolo. And as far as, as cymbals goes, um, the really small ones, they're called splashes because they sound like a splash. Then we have a little bigger cymbals and they're called crashes. And then we have a bigger cymbal uh, with a bell usually on top uh, and it's called the right cymbal. This would be the bell. And it's called the ride because you can ride on it. <laughs> Actually, you can ride on it. Okay, um, so, and then how to position yourself? You just bought a drum set and you put it together and you don't know what to do. Okay, so it's very simple. Bass drum goes right leg, hi-hat goes left leg, the snare goes in the middle, and the snare, I usually put it a, lo a little bit um, above my knees. Uh, this is why, because I don't wanna hit my legs right here. So I just um, put it a little bit above my knees I can also do rim shot and I feel comfortable the idea of playing is that you feel comfortable playing as far as the pedal goes if you guys see I have my pedals kind of like shaped in an angle like this because this is how I sit I sit usually naturally and comfortably uh, with my feet a little bit on the side like this so I don't sit like this I don't feel comfortable like that so I just you know I feel comfortable like this, so when I sit on the drums, I, you know, I tend to feel very comfortable. So that's the way I'm putting 
the pedals in an angle so I can feel very, very comfortable. As far as the tone goes, I'll put it a little higher than the snare drum so I don't hit uh, anything in between. And then the floor tone a little bit above the snare. So again, when I hit it, you know, it's just my body just feels very, very comfortable. This varies and people change it and people put it as they like, but this is the way I do it. This is the way uh, I feel most comfortable playing uh, the drums. As far as the cymbals, uh, one each side, because yes, this is also how I feel comfortable. Uh, sometimes if I, if I happen to have more cymbals, I can you know put maybe one, two here, one here, one here. So, you know, and if you have splashes, you know, you can position them here, usually, you know, higher or not so high. So you can, you know, uh, just crush them. Um, so that's that. And as far as um, the actual playing, uh, I tend to hit the drums um, forming a triangular shape like so uh, and always position the tip of the drumstick uh, towards the center of the drums. If it's the snare here, tom, floor tom, uh, even if it's a hi-hat, I tend to um, form this triangle shape. So if I'm playing uh, a, a, a groove, so this hand goes like this, like forming kind of like a triangle shape, like I said, and the hand on top also, you know, doing this. So if I go back and forth, it's always kind of like forming that triangle shape. And as far as moving on the drum set, you know, um, I, I tend to move my whole body, my whole torso uh, towards the drums I'm gonna play. So if I'm playing this piccolo here, I'm gonna face my body uh, here and then move to the snare, to the tom, to the floor tom. And if I happen to have another tom right here, it's like that. So even if I'm playing the right, you know, I tend to always position myself towards the, the drums. And you might ask, okay, what if you wanna play these two at the same time? Well, in that case, I just open my arms and just kind of play. However, it feels most comfortable, right? As far as hitting the, the, the cymbals, I tend to hit it with the, um, with the body of the drumstick, not so much with the tip. As if it's the right, I, I can hit it with both the tip and the, and the body. Also called the shoulder. Some people call it the shoulder of the stick. I call it just the body, tip and body. So. Crash, crash, right with the tip or the bell with uh, the body. And as for the hi-hat, uh, there's many techniques of how to hit the hi-hat, but usually I hit my strong notes, one, two, three, four with the body and the end notes with the tip. One E and two, three, four, and one. So one E and one and two and and four and one and two and three and four and one <laughs> okay guys if you like this video subscribe hit the like button and make sure to make me happy so i'll see you guys in the next episode i'm gonna play a little groove and while you do your stuff and i don't see you because you know you might get camera shy i don't know so i'll see you next time